हेलो एवरी वन सो टुडे आई एम हेयर विद अ टॉपिक ऑफ कंजनाइटल वेरियंट्स एंड एनिमलीज ऑफ द पैंक्रियाज एंड पैंक्रियाटिक डक एंड दे आर इमेजिंग यूजिंग एम आर सी पी सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद एक्चुअल एनिमलीज एंड ऑल लेट्स रिव्यू द एनाटमी फर्स्ट सो दैट इट बिकम्स ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड सो लेट्स सी द एनाटमी एक्चुअली जी आई टी डेवलप्स फ्रॉम द इंडोडर्म एंड इट डेवलप्स एज द फोर गट द मिड गट एंड द हाइंड गट देर इज अ टर्न बाई फॉर्मेशन बाई द फोर गट एंड द मिड गट इन ग्रॉस टर्म्स फॉर्मिंग अ सी लू जस्ट एट द जंक्शन ऑफ द फोर गट एंड द मिड गट देर डेवलप्स द ventral bird of the pancreas which is here pink in color along with the primitive bile duct which is here green in color and just cranial to that develops the dorsal pancreatic duct okay why they are termed so because this is actually the anterior abdominal wall and this c loop is actually facing anteriorly this is the anterior part where develops the ventral so this is termed as ventral pancreatic bud and this is actually the posterior or the dorsal part so that this is known as the dorsal pancreatic bud okay then what happens next is actually uh this dorsal sorry this ventral this pink color ventral pancreatic bud takes a 90 degree turn towards a right side so this anterior this ventral pancreatic bud takes a 90 degree right turn so that it comes to the right hand side okay so this is the right side 90 degree turn so this is at the c loop now this is the ventral pancreatic duct which has come to the right side along with the primitive bile duct and this is the dorsal pancreatic duct which is there on the left side uh what happens next is that this uh ventral pancreatic duct which de- which is developing as a bilobed mass actually uh this ventral pancreatic duct has to fuse with this dorsal pancreatic duct for that it has to take a 180 degree turn behind this developing duodenum so what happens next is there is 180 degree turn of this ventral pancreatic bud to fuse and uh, with the dorsal pancreatic duct so here this is the dorsal pancreatic duct this is the ventral pancreatic duct the ventral pancreatic duct has actually taken a 180 degree turn so that it comes here Uh, just below the dorsal pancreatic duct so finally what develops here is this is the dorsal pancreatic duct this is the ventral pancreatic duct and this is the primitive bile duct okay so uh, so this is how the dorsal and the ventral pancreatic bud forms and what they form the uh, dorsal pancreatic duct forms the majority chunk of the pancreas the tail of the pancreas the body of the pancreas and the anterior part of the head of the pancreas along with neck and this ventral bud actually forms the uncinate process and the posterior part of the head of the pancreas um uh, uh, the birds we know how they develop and what they form let's review the ductal anatomy okay so Uh, we saw that this is the dorsal pancreatic duct and this is the ventral pancreatic duct but so these two birds have their own ductal system so this sky blue color is actually the dorsal pancreatic duct and this is the ventral pancreatic duct now these two ducts have to communicate with each other so there develops a oblique communication between them okay this is the oblique communication between the dorsal pancreatic duct and the ventral pancreatic duct now in the atters uh, how we can look at that so this sky blue color is known as the main pancreatic duct this is the main pancreatic duct which is the uh, duct of the dorsal pancreatic bud okay uh this uh, this pink color is actually the duct of virsum 
how this has formed this has formed from the oblique communication this oblique communication along with this part of the ventral pancreatic duct this part regresses and this overall is known as the duct of wirsum okay and this part the remainder part of the duct of the dorsal bird forms the accessory pancreatic duct which is known as the duct of santorini so we have realized this this part is actually the main pancreatic duct this is the duct of wirsum and this is the duct of santorini so this main pancreatic duct along with this duct of wirsum opens at the major duodenal papilla along with the common bile duct and this is the accessory pancreatic duct or the santorini which opens at the minor duodenal papilla once we know let's review the basic parts so we have learned this the portion of the ventral duct the portion of the ventral duct between the dorso ventral fusion and the major papilla is known as the duct of wirsum the portion of the dorsal duct upstream to the dorso ventral fusion point is called the main pancreatic duct and the segment of the dorsal duct downstream to the dorso ventral fusion is called the duct of santorini or the accessory pancreatic duct which drains at the minor duodenal papilla uh so once we know the ductal anatomy and the anatomy of pancreas how pancreas develops let's review the anatomic variations and the developmental anomalies of pancreas and pancreatic ductal system these include variations in the course of the pancreatic duct variation in the uh configuration of the pancreatic duct duplication anomalies the anomalous pancreatic biliary ductal junction pancreatic division annular pancreas ectopic pancreas pancreatic agenesis and hyperplasia of the dorsal pancreas and accessory pancreatic lobes so let's review them one by one so uh, the very first thing is actually the variation in the course of the pancreatic duct so uh, the main main uh, draining system of pancreas is actually the main pancreatic duct along with the duct of wirsum which opens at the major duodenal papilla this is the descending course of the pancreatic duct another type is the vertical course another is the sigmoid course and another is a looped course okay um uh, in the mrcp imaging this is actually the just see this this is the main pancreatic duct this is actually the sigmoid shaped curve okay this is the sigmoid shaped uh, course of the pancreatic duct next just review this this is actually this way this is the loop shaped course of the pancreatic duct okay and uh, in this image also like just see them this is the main pancreatic duct this is again the uh loop shaped course of the pancreatic duct okay so these are the variations of the course of the pancreatic duct and uh, the most common course is the descending course. next is the variation in the configuration of the pancreatic duct the most common configuration being this first one there where there is a bifid configuration with the dominant duct of wirsum drainage next is the bifid configuration where the dominant duct is santorini drainage another is where there is duct of santorini not present with uh, uh, with the uh, duct of wirsum being, being the main or the only drainage pathway pancreatic division where there is non communication between the dorsal and the ventral duct system so that uh, the major chunk of the pancreas is actually drained by the um dorsal pancreatic duct into the minor papilla and another is the ansa pancreatica where the duct of santorini this is the duct of santorini this duct of santorini forms a reverse s shaped um configuration and it connects with a side branch of the duct of wirsum 
okay let's so let's see the mrcp imaging uh, here we can see the ansa pancreatica this is the duct of santorini taking a reverse uh, s shaped uh, curve and communicating with the side branch of duct of virsang so this is ansa pancreatica uh, next are the duplication anomalies uh in this mrcp images we can actually see the focal uh, duplication of the pancreatic duct the focal duplication of the pancreatic duct here also uh, the focal duplication of the pancreatic duct next are the anomalous pancreatico biliary ductal junction that is apbdj um anomalous pancreatico biliary ductal junction is characterized by the fusion of the pancreatic duct and common bile duct outside the duodenal wall with formation of a long common channel that is more than 15 mm this anomaly is often associated with colidocal cyst formation and carcinoma of the biliary tract like in this image this is a main pancreatic duct and this is the cbd both of these are seen forming a long common channel that is usually more than 15 mm outside the duodenal wall and then they open into the uh, major duodenal papilla there is a classification for this anomalous pancreatico biliary ductal junction which is known as the comey's classification uh you can review the slides and uh, you know, take the screenshot of these images uh this classification actually classifies this uh, anomalous junction into three types the type 1 the type 2 and type 3 which has further sub classifications depending on the uh dilatation of the common channel and uh, where do these uh, junctions combine with each other so next is the pancreatic division pancreatic division means the dorsal and the ventral pancreatic ducts have failed to fuse with each other so there are uh, three types of this the type 1 where there is total non union of the ventral and the dorsal ducts the dorsal uh, pancreatic duct opens at the minor duodenal papilla and the ventral pancreatic bud opens along with the cbd at the major duodenal papilla this is the classical type 1 pancreatic division next is a type 2 pancreatic division where the dorsal drainage is dominant with absent ventral pancreatic duct okay so uh, the main thing in pancreatic division is that the major chunk of the pancreatic drainage is through the minor papilla okay and the type 3 is there uh, there is a incomplete division with a small communicating branch is present Uh, so in pancreatic division the majority of the pancreatic gland drains into the minor papilla via the duct of santorini whereas the posterior head and the uncinate process drain into the major papilla via the duct of virsang with the cbd uh, we can see the dorsal duct the dorsal duct passes the common uh, terminal common bile duct anteriorly and superiorly and uh, also rarely uh, this uh, pancreatic division is associated with the focal cystic dilatation of the terminal portion of the duct of santorini which is termed as the santorini seed okay and so here we can see in this image also where uh, there is a dominant there is a dominant dorsal duct with a santorini seal that is the terminal dilatation of the duct of sant santorini uh in this image la uh, we can see this is the dorsal duct which is opening into the minor papilla and this is the ventral duct which is along with the cbd opens at the major duodenal papilla so this is the pancreatic division next is the annular pancreas so uh, how annular pancreas develops i have told this that the uh, ventral pancreatic duct actually develops as a bilobed structure okay so this bilobed structure has to migrate 180 degree behind the duodenum to come at this place but what happens in annular pancreas this 
this bilobed mass actually grows from behind also and from front also so that uh, this pancreatic tissue is seen encircling the duodenum from all these sides and thus causes duodenal obstruction and the child presents with uh, features of duodenal obstruction okay um, so and this is actually uh, the pancreatic division where we can see the dorsal duct the ventral duct along with the cbd this is the pancreatic division this picture is also of pancreatic division this is the dorsal duct and uh, this is the cbd okay this dorsal duct is seen opening into the minor duodenal papilla uh, this is actually the annular pancreas where the this is the annular pancreatic duct which is communicating with the main pancreatic duct and it is completely encircling the duodenum so in this image also we can see the pancreatic tissue which is completely encircling the second part of duodenum the annular pancreas can be complete or incomplete complete where pancreatic tissue is encircling the pancreas from all the sides and incomplete where uh, there is absence on one side of the uh, duodenum okay um so we have a few other pathologies uh, remaining that is uh, Uh, we have learned from this ectopic pancreas is there when there is uh, ectopic pancreatic tissue present at some ectopic sites like the uh, submucosa of the stomach or in the wall of the duodenum or for example in the gall bladder another is pancreatic agenesis hyperplasia of the dorsal pancreas or accessory pancreatic lobe these are few of the very rare pathologies seen so with this uh, we have concluded this session uh, we discussed the basic embryology of the pancreas uh, the uh, how uh, the ductal system of the pancreas develops the basic nomenclature of the ductal system the variations in the course of the pancreatic duct the configuration of the pancreatic duct the duplication anomalies anomalous pancreatic biliary ductal junction division uh where there is failure of fusion of ventral and the dorsal ductal system annular pancreas where the pancreas encircles the duodenum from all the sides ectopic pancreatic tissue and few of the rare pathologies with this um, uh i am ending the session here